hi everyone in uh, today's video we are going to take up a solved example uh, and this will be from ship stability 2 uh, of captain subramaniam's book uh, the topic is trim type a questions and the focus will be on finding hf i'll explain what hf is this is a, a solved example 5a from the book and you must be wondering that why i am taking up a solved example whereas i should be focusing on unsolved examples i'll do i'll do that as well in my next video or so i will solve some unsolved examples of the same type of the problem but i thought i'll take up a solved example to first explain the this type of a problem and in the solved example in the book there are no diagrams so i thought i will draw some diagrams as well so that i'll show you um, how to visualize the solution of this problem so just because the solution is given in the book it doesn't mean that uh, you can understand it you should be able to understand it visually using a diagram as well so let's get started with the question there is a ship that is floating at an initial draft of 6.6 .6 meters forward and 7.4 meters aft now this is the initial draft you then load 500 tons of cargo 54 meters forward of the midships midships is denoted by the letter h and 800 tons is loaded 52 meters abaft h abaft of h okay. after the loading is completed the final drafts forward is 6.85 and 8.51 so naturally both the drafts have increased because you have loaded cargo in both the front and the aft portion of the vessel the MCTC is given to you as 200 ton meters. So MCTC, as you all know, is moment to change the trim by one centimeter. You have to find HF. What is HF? HF is nothing but the longitudinal distance of the center of flotation from midships. All right. So before you start solving this question or just looking at the book to solve this question, try to understand what has happened here. So as you know, probably the center of flotation is the important factor in determining how the vessel will trim and the shifting of the center of flotation according to the cargo loading or discharging pretty much determines how the trim will be uh, of the vessel All right. so let's me just exaggerate it a little bit so you can see here the initial draft was 6.6 .6 meters forward so we are saying this is forward and this is aft and the aft draft is 7.4 meters all right this is h so you might be wondering what this symbol is so this is nothing but h this is the midship you can write h here midship this is the midship portion and uh, the position of the center of flotation is not known at any of the stages you have to find out normally in most of the questions they give you the center of flotation but in this question they have not given you what they have told you is you have loaded 500 tons of cargo forward part of midships that could be any part and just put it here so this is 500 tons of cargo you have loaded here forward of midships so 54 meters forward of midship this is 54 meters forward of midships and then you have loaded 800 tons of cargo let's say somewhere here 800 tons of cargo you have loaded 52 meters aft of midships so after this loading what has happened is the drafts have increased so drafts have further increased so the new draft has become and i'm exaggerating a little bit 6.85 meters forward and aft draft has become 8.5 meters aft these are the new drafts mctc is given to you as 200 ton meter and now you have to find where is the center of flotation which is not yet been given to you all right so to start this question you should be able to draw it visualize it and now you can just look at the book but yeah so initial trim of the vessel is equal to so what was the initial forward draft and aft draft initial forward and aft draft so i'll put the aft draft first because it's a larger number 7.4 meters 
and forward draft was 6.60 meters so the trim will be 7.4 minus 6.6 .6 is 0 0.800 meters after loading what was the final trim and again i will put the aft draft first because the value of it is much larger 8.51 meters minus forward draft was 6.85 meters and here it was 1.660 meters and in both the cases the trim was by stern because the aft draft was more than the forward draft all right so the initial trim was 0 0.8 by stern and final trim was 1.66 meters by stern right so that for therefore change in trim caused by loading of cargo in this case will be what take the higher number again minus lower number is 0 0.860 meters by stern right because in both the cases the trim was by stern so initially it was 0 0.8 and then from 0 0.8 it increased further to 1.660 so therefore the in the change in the trim was 0 0.860 meters by stern all right so change in the trim is also denoted by the letter tc like that so change in the trim tc equals the formula for it is trimming moment divided by mctc all right you know what is change in the trim is 0.86 meters and you know mctc it is given to you as 200 ton meter so in this case what will be trimming moment or we call it tm so we'll call this tm tm equals change in the trim multiplied by mctc so here you will change this into centimeters so 0.86 meters becomes multiplied by 100 becomes 86 centimeters because you see mctc is moment to change trim by one centimeter so when we say moment to change trim by one centimeter and then we must have this in centimeters 86 multiplied by 200 is nothing but 17200 right this is the trimming moment caused due to the loading operation right now we don't know where the center of rotation is so we have to make an assumption of where the center of rotation is i want to use a different color pen so i'll probably use red here so let's say in the solved example it has assumed that the center of rotation is x meters above of midships so if i just assume that the center of rotation is x meters above of midship this is center of rotation here so you could assume that it is forward of midship or you could assume it's aft of midship if your answer is in or negative then you will know that your assumption was wrong and you will just change the sign and if you your answer is, is positive then you will know that your assumption you made was right so in this case you have assumed that the center of rotation is above of midship if your final answer is in negative all you have to say is that assumption was incorrect center of rotation is forward of midship but the distance that you will calculate it will remain the same so this distance here we call it x meters so we are just assuming that the center of rotation was x meters above of midship so that means that the cargo you loaded above of edge was how much is the distance between these two 52 minus x so we always calculate trimming moment with respect to the center of gravity of the space in which the cargo is loaded and the longitudinal distance of it from the center of rotation we don't do it from midships midship is just a reference point here we will always calculate it with respect to the center of rotation so in this case cargo loaded forward from the center of rotation was at a distance of 54 plus x you can see why right so x is meters above from midship is just an assumption remember that you in the exam can have assumed that x meters was forward of forward of the midship won't make a difference only thing is if you get a negative answer then you will say your assumption was incorrect it was actually the other way around all right so let's see 
and you will know what I mean. So if you have loaded 800 tons of cargo above the midship 52 minus x. So now you have to you know the trimming moment right. So this trimming moment is a result of trim by stern. minus trim by head so you have caused some trimming moment by head by loading cargo forward and you have caused some trimming moment by stern by loading cargo a stern of you so you have loaded 800 tons of cargo stern of you so 852 minus x minus you have loaded 500 tons forward of the above, forward of the midships so at a distance of 54 plus x which is equal to 17200 now you could have changed this around you could have put 500 multiplied by 54 plus x first and then subtracted 852 minus x it doesn't matter it would have still resulted in the same answer either you would have got a negative or a positive but remember because 800 tons of cargo is more trim by stern was more i have taken trim by stern first remember why because you can see that the trim by stern has increased so it means we know that the trimming moment by stern will be more than the trimming moment by head so what will be this 800 times 52 which is equal to 41,600 minus 800x and this becomes minus of 500 times 54 that is minus 27,000 and then this becomes minus 500x all right so equals 172,000 17,200 and then 41,600 minus 27,000 you have to subtract it separately because those don't have x in it and then minus 800x and minus 500x because both have minus you will add them but the sign remains negative minus 1300x equals 172,000 I keep saying thousand it's 17,200 all right and then this this goes to the other side because this doesn't have x in it so this remains minus 1300x equals 17200 minus 14600 minus 1300x equals 2600 or x equals 2600 multiplied divided by 1300 and i'll take the negative sign with me so this gives me minus 2 meters so this means x is minus 2 meters above top midship so that cannot be correct right how can a distance be minus distance can never be in negative so that means this assumption was incorrect x is yes 2 meters from midship but it is probably because the answer was in negative you will know that it was 2 meters forward of midships this is where center of rotation was f right so if your answer would have been in positive if your answer was positive then you would know that your assumption was correct and you would say x is 2 meters above of midship but here because x is negative that means your assumption was incorrect x is forward of midship and it is by the same distance 2 meters forward of midship and hence you have found out where the hf distance is or where the center of rotation rise with respect to the midship so your answer will be 2 meters forward of midships although the initial assumption you made was 2 meters above of midships all right so i have taken a, a solved example intentionally um, the next couple of examples will be unsolved ones and uh, i will solve those two questions i think they are question number 10 and 11 and uh, then i will also put up question number 20 from the same exercise because i see my students are struggling with these type of problems uh, so i hope that it helps you as well i've been getting some requests from this chapter as well so let me know if it helps thank you for watching today's video and bye for now